Joseph Wood was convicted of shooting and killing his girlfriend and her father 25 years ago. He was sentenced to die for the crimes, but Wood's execution by lethal injection didn't go as planned. It was very disturbing to watch. Um, you know, uh, Joe Wood is dead, but it took him two hours to die. I can liken it to if you catch a fish and throw it on the shore, the way the fish opens and closes its mouth. Critics say that makes three bungled executions in the U.S. since January. All were by lethal injection. It took 26 minutes for convicted murderer and rapist Dennis McGuire to die in Ohio. Witnesses say he gasped and sputtered on the table. Oklahoma's Clayton Lockett, who shot and killed a pregnant woman, died of a massive heart attack after 43 minutes. The problem is, states can't buy the same drugs they used to for executions. Companies either aren't making them or don't want their products to be used to kill people. So prisons are essentially experimenting with different compounds. The whole system of killing criminals costs the U.S. billions a year. And this opponent of capital punishment says Americans are getting fed up. The sense of incompetence in, 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 in government action, I think, is what's burdening the death penalty and shifting public opinion. But the family of Joseph Wood's victims says the debate doesn't make sense. You know, this man, I mean, conducted a horrifying murder. And you guys are going, oh, let's worry about the drug and how he affect. Well, why didn't we give him a bullet? Why didn't we give him some Drano? Arizona's governor put out a statement saying Wood didn't suffer and justice was done. In contrast, she said, to his victims and their families. She did order a full investigation into why the execution took so long. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Washington.